Chris. Uh, before we talk about South Africa, um, outstanding stats for you in the last game. I think um, 21 tackles, 31 rucks hit and, and 4 turnovers. Disappointed the result, but you must have been delighted with your own performance. Uh, yeah, of course, you, you always want to go out and play well, but it's, we play team sport and it's about getting that kind of win at the end of the day and, and that's what we are judged on. Um, of course, we're going out this weekend to hopefully try and level the series up, but everyone's very excited about the prospect of trying to do that. And you seem, you know, you seem to be unaffected by the captaincy in terms of leadership. You seem to up to your game almost with, with the captaincy. Is that how you feel about it? <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow now. But um, yeah, it, it is very exciting. It's one of those things I enjoy. It's a great players around me, which are very good at helping me along the way and helping the team kind of get the best out of it. Um, it's about one step at a time and making sure that we perform for that for minutes. In your opinion, what do England need to do differently on Saturday? Having been pushed the box the close five points is the closest defeat in, in eight games, but what do you need to do to turn it around? Uh, we just need to make sure we're a lot more clinical. I mean, we, we had a couple of line breaks, but we spilt the ball on or um, we didn't quite clear our lines well enough. Um, and it's about having that composure on the ball and making sure that if we get a chance, we can take it. And do you think you, you've sorted out what gives them the momentum in that crucial third quarter? Yeah, we were just, we weren't very good at kind of getting out of our third. Um, and they were very good at kind of building the pressure on us and turning the screw and they, they were very good at kind of um, making us pay, they managed to get points out of that as well. Um, so we've got to make sure that we go out there and look after the ball and take our time in that respect. There's new look fingers back on of course, uh, 21 year old centres of Manu and Jonathan Joseph. How excited are you about seeing how they go? Yeah, very excited, they've been training well all week. Um, JJ has been great all season and he's been a very dangerous player and uh, obviously we know that X factor that Manu's got so combining them together hopefully that will be a very dangerous combination. And we're, we're here at Altitude in Johannesburg at 1,700 metres or so. How have you found training and, and how, what effect do you now have on the game? Yeah, I think obviously the ball travels a bit further. Everyone's been out there kicking and perhaps even in the second rows. <laughs> um, but I mean the first session, yeah, you, your mouth gets a bit dry but I think we're gradually getting used to it so hopefully we'll We'll be a little bit used to it tomorrow, but only time will tell. And just finally, what are your thoughts on Ellis Park as a stadium? Iconic, in so many great matches yeah, there over the years. it is so iconic and it's such an impressive arena. Um, they're the place you want to go play as a player. Obviously hosting World Cup finals and this and that. And, um, it is an incredible thing. You look at what the Lions did there last year and um, the way they played as well. So it is a very exciting place and one everyone's looking forward to.